There's still time. I thought I told you to stay away. This has nothing to do with you. Leave! You know, though, don't you? Making this sacrifice won't change anything. <sighs> it's already decided. This is the way of the Brukakwa. We can't defy our laws. Something is causing the problem in the village. If we can find the source, we can save the villagers. Please, Lilica, reconsider. It's the Star God. Damn! Stop! If you're not gonna protect Miri, I will. What is that? Look out! No use. I can't. Mary! I won't let you do it. I don't care how angry the Star God gets. Mary is my sister! <laughs> that growl. I've heard it before. the true form of our precious Star God! You took my mother! You took everyone! <gasps> Lilica! I won't let you! Let's <laughs> go. 
<laughs> Gran, you're here. I'm never leaving your side. From now on, I won't let anyone take you away. So, after all that, the Star God turned out to be a beast, huh? And that's where all that dark fruit was coming from, too. Kinda gross, if you think about it. Segrum? When did you get here? Treachery against the Star God is unforgivable. Therefore, Lilica, we hereby banish you from the village. Wait! That was no Star God! It was just a beast! And the dark fruit... Sit down, Cran. But the beast was behind the fruit, too! I said sit down! The Chief knows full well. But the village needs to believe in the Star God. Without the Star God, we'll fall into total disorder. I know, but... Run. Uh. I appoint you head of the warriors in place of Lilica. Now you will be responsible for protecting our village. Uh. Take care of the village. And my sister. I will. Lilica. Please come back to us one day. Miri and I will be waiting. showed up, Zegram. Where the heck were you when we needed you? Aw, oh, come on. Did you forget why we came here in the first place? Here. What's this? It's the booster oil. That's all I could get after gathering all the fire fruit in this forest. You can thank me anytime, folks. Zegram! This is great! <laughs> Jaster. Lilica. What is it? I was waiting for you. I'd like to come along too. You are a valiant warrior, Jaster. If it weren't for you, I would have lost the most precious thing in my life. It's all thanks to you. I want to repay that debt somehow. Let me come with you. Huh? You really want to travel the galaxy with us? Can I? Well... Yeah. Of course you can. We'll head off into space. Together. Forgive me, Lilica. It's all right. Lilica understands, Chief. She left the village, knowing what she must do. So many civilizations take a wrong turn and die out. We've been running in place, afraid of change. Maybe it's time for us to move forward again. Lilica. Soak it all in. See what's going on in the galaxy. So you can tell us 
where to turn next. One day you will return to us, and on that day I shall leave everything in your hands. You will change the Bukakwa. No, you will change the entire planet. Go forth, Lilika, supreme warrior of the Bukakwa tribe. Come back soon, my sister. This is going to be a long trip. No, oh, Jaster! The engine's running great now thanks to you. Now we can get to Zerard, finally. Zerard? Why are we going there? to renew our galactic travel visa. Galactic travel visa? It's a passport that lets you travel throughout the galaxy. When it expires, you are not allowed to visit other planets. I'm a little embarrassed to say it, but the ship's visa has been expired for quite some time now. That's why we had to avoid docking at the Rosa Spaceport and had to hide in the desert while we scouted you out. Oh, I get it. All right, scurvy dogs! Full speed ahead! Onward! To Zerad! Aye, aye! 